so I'm planning for a sunrise photo shooting and one of my best moments before shooting is preparations I love to plan everything well before going out for a photo shoot so I'll probably double check for the better forecast before photo shooting and also I'll plan for the locations I probably would choose a place which is high enough to capture the horizon and the sun well, in a hill yeah, one of the places which I prefer the most however, the clouds start to come out in the evening uh, hope that there will be no much cloud tomorrow morning So I finally arrived the Lang Hill. So what happened just now is they stopped in every train stations. So now it's already 7:30. So let's not waste time. I have to say, I'm not a professional, but I will show them all my easiest way to take a sunrise photography. Right? Next, what we have to do is to find a great spot, which is good enough for taking a sunrise as quick as possible. Well, now I've got a place to set up. Actually, there's no limits on ways to take a sunrise photography. There's no one can limit your creativity. However, there's still some camera setting reference which you may follow. Right, so now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna edit uh, the photo which I took just now and then let's go to the Lightroom start to import pictures right got it so basically that's our photo right here 
and then start to click develop all right so basically we got a photo which is for me it's not that uh, good in the quality of the coloring so I'm gonna choose uh, contrast and push it high push it until 80 so now I'm gonna choose the thin so I'm gonna make it warmer a bit so basically I'm gonna put it until basically I'm gonna put it until 22 okay got it now let's choose the highlight it depends on the lighting so yep so push it way back until negative 100 so now okay shadow let's see I don't want to see any shadow right down there, so I'll put it positive 100 and then a white color. I'll push the white until plus 40 because I want to see the highlight. There's a white color right there. I don't see the highlight right there. Sun and then push it down. Gotta push it down the black. I see that down there is there is a color right down there. I'll make it black. I don't want the picture to make it too flat. No. Down a bit. Okay, here, put it to 60. And then now overall I can see the picture is pretty not bad. But I can see there's that's a huge mistake right there. I use a lot. Uh, I use a, a lens which is, I think, I think there's a problem right here. And then, basically, I'm gonna do it uh, in Photoshop. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna clear this black spot right here. I'm gonna clear it in uh, Photoshop. So now I'm gonna choose clarity. Put it. Oh, sorry. They adjust the uh, exposure. So basically, gonna do it in negative 0.80. All right, make it worse. So I guess that's it. Simple. Nice. Now I'm gonna use um, Photoshop. So we open it. Right. So there's our photo right here, and you can see a black spot, huge black spot right there. So I'm gonna just use a spot healing tool, brush tool, so brush it. let's click a tap for that sound photo. If you want to make it panoramic, so am I gonna crop this here? Well, 
that's it folks hope you enjoyed this video and if you do enjoy this video you may subscribe to our channel and please click the like button and the share button right down below to share it to all your friends and then uh, if you have a better idea you may comment or even private message me through Facebook and I'll see you next week and that's it right once again thank you guys for watching I'm Jason and this is JJ's Review Productions and thank you for watching And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you enjoy this video, you may click the. And if you like this video, you may subscribe to our channel. Please subscribe to our channel. Ah. And if you have better idea, you may comment right down below. And you may comment. You may. Well, that's it, folks. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you enjoyed this video, 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 video.